Alewife beard oil. Is it a thing? Ooh, really does smell like fish and chips. Kind of making me hungry. Maybe a little on the old top of the head. I wonder if I could use it to spike up the hair. Holy cow, this stuff works fast. That's ridiculous. Hello, Bob Ross. There's a happy little tree. There's a happy little bush. He lives right there. You knew he was there, didn't you? And he's got a little friend named Clyde. Lives right over here. Last time I spent 30 days surviving in the Canadian Rockies, but now... Effective this Thursday morning, I am ordering all Maine people to stay at home. So this is the 30-day survival challenge, Maine Lockdown. That'll cook up good. Hunting fever. Ooh, get that bag up. We got a keeper. Three, we got three. <sighs> Today's video has been brought to you by Curiosity Stream. Download it on your phone or on all of the major streaming apps on your TV or other devices. You can cast them to the TV from your phone and watch them on your TV in big living color. 4K HD, beautiful documentaries. This is my new favorite. It's a fishing one. Let's go fishing. This has to be one of the oldest lines in human language. humans. Catching a fish was a lucky thing. It meant you lived. Life and fish were the same thing. And boy don't I know that to be true. 87 days alone and only 63 fish to live on. Life is fish. Speaking of fish, let's get on with our own fishing adventure. Check out the link in the description below for Curiosity Stream, a wonderful thing for you and your family. There's so much to watch. So much to watch. Can I say except you well? Up here in Gardner, Maine, got the bucket, the dip net. Gonna try and get some alewife. Girls are already run down it. Girls! They're very run down ahead of me. We're gonna try and get some alewife to put in our lobster traps. You might recognize this from our videos last year of the Wilderness Living Challenge. This is where the Wooded Beardsman and I first came to find the alewife. And we found in the end it was easier to start further downstream. But uh, I didn't see a lot down there, so we're up here a little higher. It's a beautiful spot. Man, those suckers are fast. Ah, oh, my net broke! That stinks. All that for two fish. Ah, oh, what a pain in the net. They aren't running today nearly as heavy as 
other times. Two measly fish. Fortunately, I might have something in my camera rack so I can still catch those 25 fish. I had that in the back of there for a while. That's from Panacy X. Let's see if we can find a stick, rig this up. Nice and straight. Not the right tool for the job. A baton, my Gerber knife. I don't really care about this one. Last step is to tie on tie on a retrieval line so I don't lose my spear in the water. Ooh. Ah. Clove hitch, see that? And then a square knot. Look at me, I'm a caught fish. <laughs> I'm a caught fish. You're a goober, that's, you're, you're a something. Spear being finished, I took a test throw at a can on the bottom of the river and found the spear did not like the bottom of this rocky river all that much. And I had this nagging feeling at this point at the back of my mind that this being fun, it probably wasn't going to be legal. I'm allowed 25 fish with a dip net, and I don't know why I didn't think, uh, I just thought since it was a dip net, uh, maybe this would be okay. But this nagging feeling told me I better look it up, and sure enough, it does specifically say I have to harvest them with a dip net or a hook. And since the fish aren't running very heavily, I'm going to have to go to one of the town municipalities to purchase some to bait my lobster traps and finish this project. <laughs>
All right, we have extracted some of the oil. What you saw earlier is I kept up with the process and uh, it took a, like putting it into a bigger container, letting it settle, and then moving it to a smaller, to a smaller. So this is, this is just from the first time I did it. The earlier clips where I made a candle out of it took me a little bit longer and uh, that is happening actually happened after this scene but i played it before this scene but we got enough of it here because the girls have to head out that's why we're doing it in this order and i'm going to extract that little bit that's on top of there there's a little bit on this one and a little bit on that one and use it as the beard oil and then they're going to give me a sniff test right how's the beard smell first nice how's it smell it, tell the camera it smells pretty nice like what I can't explain. Like nothing, because I mean, it, we went swimming yesterday, so. It smells, no, it smells pretty good. You're it smells good? It smells like. Does it smell like coffee? Does it smell like coffee from I, breakfast? It smells no, good, it but it's, like it's it just smells good. like nothing, has nothing can be. It smells like nothing? All right, let's extract some and put it on the beard. Extracting the oil, only the oil. We don't want any of the, the fish. Just a little bit of that. There we go. We got mostly. We got 99%. You wanna do the honors? <laughs> sure. All right, oh, don't squeeze it until you've got it. Ready, squeeze it into my beard. Oh, some of it dribbled out. Rub it in. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can smell it. I can smell it now. Now that it's in my. No, let me smell. You, all right, give her a smell. Give her a smell. <clears throat> yeah, you can smell it, it smells fishy. Not, not a good fishy? Like no. fish and chips? Like fried fish that we like to eat? Mm. You don't think so? It smells like fried fish. I think I think you should keep the keep it, it smells as, like fish. I think you should keep it as um beard oil. You think I should keep it as beard oil? You think that would get me some dates? Here, smell again. It stinks! <laughs> it smells like it smells like meat. It smells like fish meat that daddy cooked. It smells like dead fish. You like it? Mm -mm. So the critics have spoken. It's not a good thing. It's a great thing. It's you think not... it's a great thing? I'm gonna go hug mama. All right, and then go. I'm gonna go mama. All right. Well, do you want a beard tickle before you go? No. <laughs> beard tickles. Come on, beard tickles. You used to love these. I every night at bed. <laughs> beard tickle. Beard tickle. Oh, now you can smell like a fish too. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Curiosity Stream, with documentaries on everything from science, technology, and wildlife. It's got a little bit of something for everybody in the family, available on the majority of all major streaming platforms. And you can get all this for only $20 a year. Check out that link in the description below and get unlimited access to content like you haven't already seen. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. Maybe it's better to save this for uh, candles and uh, frying up other fish in. It does have a fishy smell. Fowler out. Might make a good social distancing resource. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs>